So I am going to share with you 10 absolutely incredible examples that you can use that are budget friendly, DIY friendly, and are probably laying around your house or you can just go down the street to a big box store like Lowe's and accomplish something for pennies on the dollar. We're gonna get right into it. Okay, so this first one I'm gonna call barbecue station. Really what this is, is some very easy stick building on how to create a separate destination that provides some shade. You can have your barbecue, you could put some lighting in there. This person has run electricity, not everybody knows how to do that, I get that. But what I want you to take is that, how many times have you looked in your garage or under your deck or maybe another spot of the yard and you just see leftover wood from projects that you've started in the past? I know I've got some leftover wood in my garage. The point is, you can use some of that for a build like this. You might have to buy some of these posts, but how about this surround, this galvanized material that they got going on? You might have something like that or something similar or a bunch of leftover wood that you can use as the surround. These kinds of stations are a great little spot to go and hang, provide shade, put your barbecue underneath. And if you've got an old concrete patio that's kind of yucky, this is something you can put on there and it really spruces up the space. And something as simple as a rug, putting an outdoor rug down and then a table, bam, you are there. All of this, all in, table, chairs, rug, you got some leftover lumber, maybe you gotta go run down to Lowe's or a big box store and grab up a couple things. I think you're in under a thousand bucks for all of this. And talk about a game changer, a transformation. You just have concrete and you go bam to that, you got something pretty cool that I know you can do and take with you. Let's go on to number two. Okay, so this is a very easy one. This is just your classic DIY natural edging. A lot of the times I talk natural edging in videos. Well, this is what I'm talking about. All you really need is a shovel and some elbow grease. And this is a very cost effective, easy and beautiful way to transform a bed. Look at that edging. Look how clean and easy that is. And you didn't have to buy really anything. I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's go to number three. Okay, number three, here's what we got going on here. This is an elevated planter box, but one feature that I think is so cool and I haven't seen before is this little part where they've got this different colored wood and it's acting like a bench. Like how clever is that? So you basically are building an elevated planter, you're filling it up, you're putting in whatever kind of goods you want and you got these beautiful grasses, but then you got a spot to sit down. So this is something really cool to frame along a deck or a patio and this is something we all can build this easy. We don't have any 45 degree cuts on the sides. It's just basically cutting the boards to fit, putting them together, and then putting your fabric in, filling it up, and you're good to go. But take note of that little bench and up the game a little bit. Paint it. What a cool feature. Love this one. Ah, number four. Okay, so this is a drainage one. This is super easy. A lot of the times I am going to harp on burying your downspouts and PVC and running them away. But what if you've already got your concrete walkway there and you don't wanna dig underneath and bring it out? That is a pain, it's really hard to do. And you're just gonna let your water dive into the beds. Well, you can use something as simple as creek stone. This is Iowa Rainbow Creek Stone. This is great rock where the water is gonna go into rock and not into mulch and possibly wash out when there's a heavy rain. This is super easy, anybody can do this. It looks kinda of cool if you spruce it up and it's got my approval, I like it. Let's go to the next one. Let's get into number five, here we go. All right, so I selected this one because how many times have you seen a bunch of extra stone or flagstone or just kind of leftover brick or whatever hanging around a place? I like this video simply because it's like, well, why don't we try and use it? You could use this for a flagstone walkway. You could use it for stepping stones in a garden. You could actually take out mortar and do what these guys are doing and put a patio together depending on how much leftover stone you have. So if you've got some leftover stone, try and utilize it in your space and make do. It'll be great. Yeah, my daughter is screaming. All right, number six, we got professional lighting is something that I think makes a huge difference. It's so cost effective. This is super easy to do, guys. I wanted to show this video because it shows the difference that just makes with this house. Look at the tree lit up. Look at the boulders, the lighting on there. There's path lights in here. 
Every single light, LED light, I would say is between 20 to 40 bucks for the most part. If you get the real good quality ones, sometimes they're up to 70, $75. It really depends, you get what you pay for. But how you clip these in is usually in 12-2 or 14-2 wire. You snap them in, you kind of bring them over to a transformer, you put the uh, ground on the wire nuts, and you set the transformer and boom. This thing instantly transformed the space. The reason I think it's so important to talk about this is you do all this work, you wanna light up your investment, make sure that you're lighting up trees, you're lighting up deck lights here, you got path lights, make sure people aren't falling all over the place, but you also have something really cool to come home to when it's nighttime. Great, great stuff, yeah. All right, number seven, this is a really cool video. I'm just gonna let this thing fly. This is something that was put together by Lowe's that can show how easy it is to put in a walkway or a path. It's got all the different steps put in here. And the reason I think it's so important for you to see what goes into this is you can decide whether you wanna do it or you wanna hire somebody. There's a couple things in here that aren't 100% how I think a professional would install it. Like putting pavers on sand, I think those days are kind of one and done. We do clean rock and then we do 3 8 inch screening or clean and then we set it on there because I feel like sand moves around a lot. They're doing these pads which are more stable and you can definitely do and then they are cutting. They're putting their polymeric sand in between all these to lock it in the edging on the outside. I also don't like that black steel edging or it's not steel the black plastic edging simply because it flexes and moves with hot, cold, expansion, contraction. I like to do mortar along the outside. It just seems to be a long lasting product. But I wanna thank Lowe's for sponsoring this part of the video. Nope, they're totally not, totally kidding. But they put together an amazing, amazing little template there that I think you can use and just make a couple tweaks on that. I would say clean rock, no sand, and then on the edging, take the plastic stuff out and use mortar. But I bet you a lot of these things you might have around the house, some leftover products, or you go down to Lowe's and you grab some stuff up. Either way, you're winning because this isn't gonna cost a ton. It's just your sweat equity. You decide if you wanna do it or not. Next one. This might be my favorite picture of all the ones I selected here. Why? Because it's kind of combining some of the steps we already talked about. That natural edging where we were digging it out and creating that bed, but now we're kind of up in the game and putting on those Iowa Creek stones that we saw on that drainage portion that I was talking about. So it's kind of a two for one. Everybody seems to have leftover boulders or rocks or this or that at their house and I think if you've got a lot of these and you line it like this, man, does that look cool, I love that. But say you don't have a bunch of that Iowa Creek stone, you got some leftover boulders, a cool way to break up that natural edging is to plop a boulder every you know, 10 to 15 feet to break it up and then have some plants in between that, really spices it up, it's very cool. You can see this walkway has got it going on. It's a grass walkway, right? But take some notes from this and pull those elements over. And if you got leftover materials, then you're good to go. Next one. All right, number nine, we are almost there. I selected this one. This is off a TikTok video because it's something as simple as string lights. String lights, man, does this make a difference for this backyard? Now, of course, I kind of feel like it's got a lot of hodgepodge and stuff going on there, but at the same time, it makes a huge difference. String lights are not that expensive. You can get them off Amazon. You can get a 25 foot roll or a 50 foot roll, 50 foot roll for 25 bucks, right? So consider string lights and all you really need is some hardware to lock it in. Or if you've got a pergola, you can line it along the pergola. It creates an inviting ambiance that makes you wanna go outside, hang out with friends, cozy up by a fire pit, do whatever. But uh, man, love them. All right, number 10, we made it. And I'm telling you, this one took me by surprise. I never thought that I would like this. How many times have you had an old tree stump or you had a tree cut down and you said to the tree guys, oh, you know what, just stack some wood over there, we'll use it. And it sits there forever. It never moves, it just collects dust, it gets yucky, it's gross. And it's just, it's a waste of space, right? What if you were to take a chainsaw, cut out a couple pieces and create something really cool like this? This is so neat. I would never think to do this. You fill in with soil or you could do ground cover and it's just another way to break something up and have this almost like English garden native, beautiful spot. I think there could be a water feature at the end of it, like it's welcoming you. 
Use the extra wood around your house creatively. You could do a stump where you sit on it, or you can do something like this, but I liked, this is cool. Woo, listen, being on a budget isn't a bad thing. It's kind of cool, it opens up your creativity. You get to grab a bunch of stuff around the house that you never would have touched in the first place. And you get to step back and say, you know what? I did that, I took that old tree and I built that, or I did this and that, awesome. Let's go do another one of these. Go watch this video. I'm gonna show you how to create an incredibly awesome, cozy space for under 500 bucks. This is Bobby K saying creation is everything, so go out and create. See you on the next video.